Hello, friends and family of YouTube. Well, I'm at another RV show in Huntsville, Alabama. I'm about to show you a Lance 2285. So let's check this thing out. See, this is a two-door model. It's got a bedroom. It's separate from the uh, living room area. And like I said, this is a Lance 2285 model. Pretty cool unit. It retails at 49,000. This thing is uh, this weekend is 41000 for the RV show. It's got a slide out on it, but it's also got a pretty nice look to it. I love all these lights on here, and it's got a ladder rack on the back. Let's go inside and check this thing out. It's got a two-step entry. Got a nice-looking kitchen. Everything in here is very modernized. Of course, you know, Lance, they don't cut corners too often. I like this setup. Very, very upscale looking unit. Very roomy. It, like I said, it is a slide out. I like how it's got this uh, living room area separate from uh, from everything else. Pretty neat. Beautiful. Everywhere in here is really nice. Anyway, let me get in here and show you the uh, show you the bedroom. I'm not going to be able to walk through these units and show them to you step by step like I'd like to because we are at an RV show. There's going to be a lot of people in and out of these RVs today, so it is hard for me to do them like I, like I normally do. If you've watched my channel before, you'd notice that I, I pick these things apart. But I have to say, this is one of the nicest ones I've ever seen. Here is something I have never seen before. This is a No Boundaries. And I believe the model is 19.5. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go in here and check this thing out. Here's here's the show price that they're doing on this thing today. Right at 20 grand. It's got some uh, like off-road type tires on there. And uh, got a two-step entry. So let's go inside and see what's going on. Like I said, it is a NB 19.5 and uh, normally sold at Johnson RV in Decatur and Coleman, Alabama. There's your phone numbers. I tried to go in there, but there's no lights inside and the slide is not in the outward position. So that's uh, not fully set up yet. Uh, the show just opened up about 30 minutes ago. So they're still getting stuff ready. I am now inside a Shasta 392 BL. It is a fifth wheel and a pretty nice looking unit here. It's got plenty of seating area, plenty of dining, got a good sized kitchen too, and your sleeping area up here. I know it's kind of hard to get an idea of the layout as I'm walking through here, so this is up into the fifth wheel area. And of course you can get into the bedroom. And it's got a, uh, right behind that sliding door there is a washer and dryer hookup. And I believe this unit, memory serves, the price on this unit is right at about 49. And now I'm about to walk into a Cedar Creek Silverback Edition. It's a 37 FLK. And it uh, looks like this thing's got two slide outs just on the, uh, passenger side alone three I'm sorry three slide outs on the passenger side so anyway let me go in here and see what's going on got a four-step entry and got a full-size bath right at the entry boy if you're coming in what like, man I gotta pee you can run right into it and it's got a very open kitchen layout And the show price on this unit is right at 60 grand. And uh, this one is uh, here with um, Reed Camper. There's five different dealers here today. Uh, Bankston, Reed, and uh, I don't recall the other names, but anyway, they are five dealers here today. Let's get started with Michael Jackson's secret half-sister speaking out. Oh, that TV's a little loud. Not sure why they got the TVs on loud today. That doesn't, uh, doesn't make sense to me, but about every unit we've went into today has had the TV turn out real loud. 
And I'll go in here and show you the master bedroom suite. Oh, look at this. Very elegant looking. I like that. Really, really nice. Again, this is a fifth wheel, if I didn't mention that earlier. Got a nice wardrobe set up in here. This has got... To, this bedroom has two slides in it. There's a slide going each direction in the bedroom here. I just realized that this uh, fifth wheel unit has six slides. You have two slides to make that large uh, living room area. And as you come into the kitchen here, there is two slides as well. And in the bedroom, when you get back here, it has two slides also. Every room has plenty of space to walk around. I like that. I would say this would be a great park model. Got very high ceilings in the bedroom here. I can't even get within touching the ceiling. I'm 6'1", so that's pretty neat. I got arms like a gorilla. My arms are real long. <laughs> Okay, we have got the 25 FBLS and I want to show you how roomy this model is. You can see with it well lit up in here. It's got a real nice shower. It's got a roomy bathroom. You can get all around in here. I love how roomy this model is. For it to be a 25 footer, this is uh, pretty sweet. It's got a lot of storage in the uh, bedroom area. You see it's got plenty of storage cabinets. And of course there's storage under the bed. The bed lifts up and you can store inside of it. But you've got plenty of cabinet uh, counter space and cabinet space. And I have also a video with the slide inward. So I'm going to attach that as well. Yeah, this is a pretty neat unit. Alright, if you've been watching my channel, you've uh, heard me talk about the 21 FBRS by Microlight. It is my favorite layout, and matter of fact, my title of the video for it is titled Best RV Layout Ever. There is your price for this show. And again, this is at Reed in... Uh, Huntsville, Alabama. That's who normally carries these locally for Huntsville, North Alabama area is Reed. That is a good price right there. I know these things normally sell for about 24 and up. Of course, you can see what the retail price is, but that's why I like Reed. You see me doing a lot of Reed's videos. That's why. Very nice layout. I love it. 21 FBRS Microlite. And now I'm in the Microlight 21DS. This is uh, very similar to the 21FBRS, but this one has a dinette. And again, this one is also by Reed in Huntsville. That's their show price that they've got going on. You can see that this is a pretty roomy model. You got a uh, over and under uh, refrigerator set up. Got a good sized bathroom. And got a TV up here. And of course it's got the uh, got the Murphy bed. I have a full video of this model and the last one on my channel as well. If you're interested in seeing 21DS or the 21F. BRS, both of them by uh, Flagstaff Microlite. Here's one from Johnson RV. It is a Wolf Pup 18TO, and there's your show price going on for it. Show you inside real quick. And here is your bed right as you enter. And looks like there must be a bunk set up somewhere because they've got the mattress set up there for it. So maybe that goes behind the couch. Not sure, but. Anyway, I wanted to point out this wall here. Isn't that neat? That's kind of kind of something I hadn't seen yet in the RV industry, but glad, glad somebody's doing it. I will say Wolf Pup has come a long way in the last couple of years. 
Uh, they're now putting the air conditioning units up in the ceiling. I think they have for a couple of years now, but used to all their models had them in the wall. Or at least the ones that I had checked out were. So uh, anyway, the Wolf Pup has come a long way. And there's the price they're going for these days on this model. You can see that there are several different units here today. This is a big place. They've got, uh, like I said, I think there's five different RV dealers here today. So lots to look at. Now we're in a uh, Tiffin. This is a very fancy deal here. I am telling you what, price on this with the discount is $211,950. This is an Allegro. RED 37PA 2018 model and let's see what all they got going on in here yeah got a nice setup of course for $211,000 it better be pretty sweet huh got a good size TV there and has carpet in the bedroom now that's something I hadn't seen seen any of today in this uh, RV show but there's plenty of Plenty of storage for clothing, that is for sure. Look at all that. Even storage over the bed. Got a ceiling fan in here. And a very glamorous style bathroom. Yep. Pretty sweet deal here. This is the nicest model that we have looked at today. And, uh, this young lady getting behind the wheel, that's my mother, and today is her birthday. <laughs> Wave to you, <YouTube> Tabor. <laughs> yeah, but check out this thing. I'm telling you what, it is really beautiful in here. And it's uh, got the electric fireplace like many of these other ones do. And, of course, the TV. Beautiful setup. One thing I like about this RV show is they have a lot of RVs just out here in the, uh, I guess you would call this like an atrium or a hallway. Plenty of RVs to look at in here. So nice to be able to look at them in the dry and in the uh, HVAC. But uh, I wanted to show you something I thought was kind of funny. You got this, uh, I guess this is a B plus uh, little unit here, but you can sit right on that toilet there and uh, Check out traffic through that back window there if you wanted to, or wave at people while you're sitting on it. Somebody else driving you down the road. Go ahead and show you this model. This will be the last one that we get to look at today before we uh, head home. This unit's uh, right at 120 grand. Got a beautiful color to it. Looks like this is not necessarily made for camping, but more for luxury. Plenty of seating. Probably more like a party model. Well, I just got home from the uh, RV show in Huntsville, Alabama, and I'm going to tell you, that was uh, very nice. I really enjoyed it. They had a lot of different RVs to look at there, and uh, had uh, I think they had four, maybe five dealers there. So... Uh, you know, it was, it was nice to have a good competition is what I'm trying to say. Uh, when I went to the show in Nashville, there was only one dealership there. And, uh, you know, if there's no competition, of course, I don't think the prices are going to be that competitive either. But when you've got four, yeah, there's some good pricing. So we've seen a lot of good stuff today and uh, had a great time. It was my mother's birthday, so I was glad to, glad to be able to get out and spend some time with her. And uh, I just wanted to kind of kind of let y'all know because I had told you about one RV show that I'd been to uh, the Nashville one and I was not impressed at all in so many different ways but uh, today's RV show in Huntsville much better than Nashville you would think at a city the size of Nashville would have a great RV show but wasn't for me maybe it is for others but not for me but Huntsville was great I hope y'all enjoyed this episode of, of uh, getting out and doing some RV looking today and uh, Dave's RV channel and the Dave and Purdy channel. So uh, I'll have this video on both of them. If, you, uh, if you're not familiar with the other one, I should have the, the title down in the description where you can hit it and uh, check out the other channel as well. Thanks for watching today, folks. Y'all have a great day. See y'all soon. Bye-bye.